guys, Evan Ork here, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Bandai Godzilla 1973 figure. So this is really cool, they decided to make uh, a 73 Bandai, which they never had made before, and it's not extremely different from 74 and 75, um, but there are some major differences to the point where it deserved its own figure. Now let's get into the first thing I like about this figure. First thing I like about this figure is the detail. Now the detail on this figure is uh, pretty much, pretty well above average. First things first. Uh, you have Godzilla's, you know, you know, scaly skin uh, that they always have on a lot of these show designs. It kind of like goes across the entire tail and the full uh, front of his body and uh, here as well. Pretty decent detail on the spines. Uh, the show designs are famously have like kind of like thick um, spines here where they look kind of like uh, like foam almost. So they're not like, you know, thin and jaggedy. They're more like thick and swollen. So you can kind of get a nice uh, idea of where that is. Of course, the spines get smaller and smaller and smaller up in the tail. Good detail there. And the facial detail is very resemblant of the 73. Now, what's important to note is that most Godzilla figures have an open mouth. This is one of the few that has a closed mouth, largely because you kind of get a better sense that it's 73 with it being a closed mouth. For open mouth, I think it would resemble more of a 74 or 75, but you really get the the picture that this is 73 from Godzilla vs. Megalon when his mouth is closed. So let's get to the next thing I like about this figure. The next thing I like about this figure is the paint job. Now the paint job is uh, slightly above average. Now the paint job is slightly above average, but that's because there's no real thing to praise about it. Of course, the primary color on this is kind of like a, a grayish, uh, dark, dark, dark green color. We kind of get that all around. There isn't a lot of shading done between that and the white spines. I mean, it really just jumps from this to that, which isn't really that well done, I have to admit. But they do have some nice shading here uh, where they do this marking here, um, where it's more of a brown line going down his stomach. That was, I think, shaded in pretty nicely uh, with the rest of the primary colors. Oh yeah, no real booming colors. You do see more of that brownish red here uh, on his claws. That's pretty much it. There's nothing uh, much to say about the paint job. It's just something above average. Let's get into the next thing I like about this figure. The next thing I like about this figure is the articulation. The articulation on this guy, he really only has four joints. It's just uh, the arms here and the legs. So of course, I believe that all Bandai should have at least four joints, and this is four joints, so that makes it a solid average. That being said, let's get into the cons of this figure. Now, when it comes to the cons of this figure, as you might expect, it has to do with the articulation, because while it did get the pro for having at least four joints, it unfortunately has my least favorite thing on a lot of Bandai's these days, a glue seal. It has a glue seal around the tail here. Had there not been a glue seal there, and also if they added a joint for the head, that would have been six joints of articulation. The articulation would have been a slightly above average pro. You would have just had a better figure in general. However, it doesn't necessarily mean that I can't go without critiquing that because that is an annoying problem. That being said, I would rate this figure a solid nine out of 10. Now this came out at around August time. So by now the price has definitely gone up to being around 50 or 60 bucks on some sites like eBay or Showcase like Kaiju. The sooner you get this, the better because I guarantee that in a matter of years, this will be around 80 or $90. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later and bye-bye.